morning everybody we are out working on project number two this summer building C is basically done we got a little bit more cleaning in there but that's basically done for the year uh, right now we're working on emptying this semi trailer the semi trailer we had put a lot of stuff from building C into the semi trailer so we could get the concrete done so we were gonna about to open it because I do not remember what we put in it there's my son Buck he's helping out today again um, so we're going to time lapse just us cleaning it out, putting the shelving in, because this is supposed to be a storage trailer where we can start taking inventory of all our spare parts and electrical panels and everything that we use for the shop so it's not spread so much all over and we can find it a little easier. I'm oh, And then we're going to also clean this mess up, not probably another couple weeks. Uh, this is where the wall has to come off so we can pour another concrete pad. Um, planning it in September. But uh, I'm also thinking about selling these little jigs I made to hold my camera on for my time-lapse camera. I've been putting them in the shop and then I just keep changing out the time-lapse camera with the plastic uh, case on it so that way it constantly stays in the same place. So if I quit for the day or something happens, it always looks like the camera's lined up. And I don't know if that's something people would be interested in or not, but I figure if I build a couple for outdoor use or indoor use and maybe uh, people would purchase it, maybe not, we'll find out. So without any more to do, let's see, Buck, you want to open a trailer? Let's see what's in there. Because like I said, I haven't been in here in a year and actually I had somebody else load it up. So it's going to be kind of a surprise. Hopefully it's not as bad as I'm thinking it's going to be. Okay, there's Buck and the skidster. We had to put the bucket on. Uh, we got the door open. It was, the trailer's probably set a little bit. We put it in like a year and a half ago. So uh, we had to clean up a little bit on the ground so that way we could open the doors. But it's not nearly as much stuff as I really thought was gonna be in here. So hopefully this won't take as long as I was hoping. We're gonna have some lunch right now and like I said, we'll pull all this stuff out of here and see what's all in here. Um, like I said, this was put in about a year and a half ago, so I'm not 100% sure what's all in here. So as we empty it, the time lapse will catch it, and uh, then we'll take some more closer up pictures and show, like right here, some glue clamps, clamps for our Taylor wood clamp that we have in the other room. Uh, this, is a, this is actually a small elevator that goes up four feet put shop carts on but that was kind of interesting there's a little lift a uh, little table lift so there's a couple interesting things in here there's some molded stock for a project we did years ago I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that stuff yet try to turn it into some kind of product I don't know if this trailer leaks so once we empty it out we'll have to come back here on a rain day and see if it leaks so we have to patch anything on the roof and then we'll start putting shelving in here and like I said, we'll record the whole thing. So I will definitely be back later. Thank you. Okay, good morning everybody. It is day three of working on the semi-trailer project. Uh, we are just finishing up. It's an extremely hot day, it's a Monday. I wanna say it's like 85 here, maybe 90 now. So we're basically been working all morning to get this done. They, so we're gonna go in the air conditioning for a little while and then come back out this evening most likely. But basically we're as done as far as getting a large percent of the shelving in. I uh, ended up buying the wrong stuff. It's too wide and was too tall, but it's already in the truck. So I guess it's gonna be here for a long time, but I should have just bought six footers that were 24 inch wide. So I made that mistake, but it'll be okay. Now we just got a label. I got to order one more section for the door and then we're just gonna label it. And as we bring things in here from building A, we're going to end up doing a little sticker system and inventory system. The Ryman's gave us a iPad 
that we can use and we're going to snap a picture and start inventorying everything we have because we have a lot. And it's really frustrating when you end up going and buying things you already own because you have it somewhere. So we're going to try to eliminate that. This side, I'm just going to put odds and ends shelving, different shelving I have all over the shop that I've been saving over the years. The plan is hanging two shop lights in here too. So in the winter time, it gets extremely dark, so we can't see. So we're going to end up putting up some shop lights in here. I think I have one leak though in the ceiling. But basically, this project's pretty much done. Next project, we'll be working on one of the machines in the wood shop. I'll be recording myself doing that. Other than that, I think everything's going really good. We're slowly getting there. Uh, make sure, I hope you guys are having a fun and safe summer. If any of my eighth graders are watching this, which I know a couple of you do, I hope you guys are being safe, making good choices. Other than that, uh, you guys make sure you have a good day and I will be making another video for next week. Bye.